Hi there, this is Just a Girl in Canvas, Alicia King. And if you don't recognize where I'm sitting today, it's actually a place that you should all know about. I'm in downtown Camas, and I'm actually at the Camas Gallery, where there are so many beautiful things here to look at. I was in here a few weeks ago, and I would have to say some paintings caught my eye. Um, you'll see them behind me here. They're just some beautiful, beautiful paintings. And the artist, I'm so lucky to be sitting here with Jane Sorosa. Austin. So nice to meet you and thank you for taking the time with me today. Oh, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. So I came in, I saw these paintings and I said to Marquita, who is this artist and is she local and can I chat with her? I'd love to hear how she came up with all these creations. And the exciting thing is you live on Livingston Mountain, right? Yeah, that's right. So yes. tell me a little bit about the inspiration on Livingston Mountain and I think that's where some of these creatures came from. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's just the most beautiful place, you know, the forest and, and all the animals that live in the forest. And it's just a magical place. So how can you not make art and write when you live up there? Beautiful. So do you have a studio up there? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so you, do you sit down every day and paint or just occasionally? What's your schedule? Oh, every single day. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're pretty diligent about I'm that? I'm really super diligent, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's great. I can't even sit down once a day on focused on something. <laughs> so do you wait till your kids are gone at school or is it? Yeah, I normally wait till every, you know, I clean the house, make sure everything's settled and I have a lot mm -hmm. of animals that live with me so I kind of make sure they're all fed Their and looked after. Yeah. Care. And then I make a cup of tea and I sit down and I just get painting for a while. So. That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So one reason we're here today talking to Jane is we have some exciting news. Jane has actually just published a book. And tell me a little bit about this book right here, Jane. So this book kind of chronicles the story of me and how I went from sort of painting apples and things like that in my studio to meeting the characters that I've painted and sort of getting to know them. And the first one I met was Vernon Cottrell. He was a pheasant. Oh, let's talk um, about him. Wait, I think is he up floor. here? Uh oh, oh can you get him, Jane? Yeah. Thank you. I'm so sorry I dropped him. <laughs> no, He'll be offended, but not really. All right, so actually, Jane is a character in her book. You are mm -hmm. in your book I as am. Jane. Yes. And so Jane meets this character. Tell me a little bit about this character. It's Vernon, right? Yeah. So Love that name. <laughs> Vernon is the first character that I met, and he just sort of appeared at the window one day and. I'll hold him up another minute. <laughs> He was just such a, I mean, I was really shocked because he's a pheasant, a beautiful pheasant, but he was wearing a hat, which is kind of weird, frankly. Uh -huh. And so I went out to see what was going on and if I could get like a glimpse of him and went to the door and he was there and... So, and you started chatting. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so Jane became friends with Vernon. Mm -hmm. And then Vernon introduces you to a few different characters in your book. Tell yes. me a little bit about them. Yeah, well, he actually is, I don't want to give too much away, but he actually okay. makes all the hats for all of the animals. He's the hat maker. He is, okay. yeah. And so he tells me about some of the characters that he's making hats for, like some of my neighbors that I haven't mm -hmm. met. And... Um, Gradually, like he kind of reveals where they live, and I get to meet them. And it's about their adventure. Yeah, yeah, it's about getting to know your neighbors, really. <laughs> Imagine that building community with Vernon. Yes. I love <laughs> it. That's wonderful. I know that's what we're doing. It's what yeah. you're doing. Uh huh. Um, so, would you say this book is a children's book, an adult book, or a book for all ages? How I would you describe think that? It would really be a book for all ages. Yeah, definitely. It's it's kind of a whimsical little just a whimsical tale and it's just the first one because I, I want to keep going and write about all of these guys yeah well yeah. if anyone knows me out there the word whimsy draws me in in one second so I need to read this book if it has whimsy in it I love it yeah absolutely I think you'll enjoy it <laughs> great I enjoyed writing it so so where could somebody get this book if I wanted to read it they could get it right from here in our own little Camus downtown Yay! at the Camus Gallery. And when will it be available? Um, June the 1st, and then I'm going to be here on the 13th, okay. um, Saturday the 13th, to do a, like a little 
book signing, signing if anybody oh, shows wonderful. up. <laughs> of course so, they yes, will. Yes, yes, the holds. Okay, so, so June 1st it comes out, yes. and June 13th I'm going over the dates. You'll be down here at the Camus Gallery to sign yes. those books. Wonderful. In the afternoon, or do you have a time yet? Um, I'm not sure. Is there a time? Noon. <laughs> All right. Noon. noon. And I will also post that again on my Facebook page for any of you following this. And I just have to say that I think this is awesome. I think that you have created or you have a world up on Livingston Mountain that you're writing about is awesome. You also have greeting cards. I know it's yeah. Wild Hair Greetings. Mm -hmm. H-A-R-E. I am going to say that threw me off. You, right. When you told me Wild Hair <laughs> Greetings, I'm like, wait, her email isn't going through. And it's not H-A-I-R. It's H-A-R-E. So be sure that you find that right on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And you have greeting cards at various stores and things like that as well? Yeah, yeah. A, a bunch of stores all across America now. So Wonderful. Yes. yes. Well, I think when you get to know our community, you see that all types of people are living here. We have mailmen, we have people that are working in the tech industry, all kinds of jobs here in Camas, and you know, we have artists living right here with us, and I think it's wonderful, the art you're creating. You. My daughter is an owl fan. I will say it probably started with Harry Potter, but the second I saw this owl in the window, I was drawn in, so we are looking for a place in our home, possibly, where we could put this character. What is his name or her name? This is Victor. Victor. And he is one of my latest paintings. He just kind of showed up at my house. He was in the tops of the trees. Oh, and he's stunning. And I think it's yeah, the goggles that is. draw me in. Yeah, the goggles. He has to protect his eyes. You know, they're very sensitive. Yeah, very sensitive. I love it. <laughs> yes. Well, Jane, I think you're a true gem, and I really well, appreciate you. you chatting with me and sharing your art with the community. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for doing what you do. It's wonderful. Thank you. I love Thanks. it. I'm having a really good time. Thanks. All right, come down and visit Jane on June 13th. Check out these cool paintings. Check out her book, and get a greeting card to send a friend. I'm sure they'll love it. This is Just a Girl on Canvas, Alicia King. Thank you.